This Proverbs 11, 21. Though hands join in hands, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seeds of the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. And give our praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS. Salutations to the brothers that's pushing this work in the highways and byways. Our praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Now, this is the video, the re of GMS will not take part in that wicked shit. Because these brothers want to uh, come with this unity camp. This unity camp, that, that's, that's all for vanity. These men only doing works off, off of um, feelings and emotion, but not by the spirit. They claim it's the spirit. Because they want to link the spirit with what they believe and not what the spirit is really uttering. <coughs> Proverbs 11, 21. Though hands join in hands, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. It's Jeremiah chapter 14. Reading from verse 9. Why shouldest thou be as a man astonished, as a mighty man that cannot save? Yea, yet thou, O Yahweh, art in the midst of us. Yahweh is in the midst of us, yo. Right? Remember, everything is already predestined. Right? As we are called by, the, by thy name. Leave us not, right? And this to the brothers of GMS. Uh, verse 10. Thus said Yahweh unto these people. Thus have they love to wander. They have not refrained their feet. This unity camp. Y'all know brothers going off with doctrine. Even if even if you're not with GMS. You got brothers that don't, don't even go with your doctrine. And y'all getting together with them. Brothers that don't even believe in the name of Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, and you get in with them. Just our wickedness. It's confusion. Right? Like the scripture says, Yahweh is not the arm out of confusion. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, thus, therefore, Yahweh doth not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. Hey, this is for all the nation of Israel. This is coming back to the nation of Israel. He will remember their sin. They choose not to refrain them their feet. You understand? And, and there's a purge. There's something, there's something good Yahweh will be doing. The ladder slaughter, the ladder killing. It's purge to get the, the wicked out of Israel. This is what we used to do back in the day at the time of Moses. Right? So to make your calling election sure, do this work and push this truth sincerely. Stop trying to come about with um doctrine of men. Get back to the scripture. Let me get uh Yeah, this is Mark 7 7. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men? For laying aside the commandment of the power, ye hold the tradition of men as washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. Exactly. Y'all are bogged out taking, going, going off. Uh, thinking that you could, you know, save the nation or help the nation. And your burden is not the men that's, that's going off with doctrine. You got to be speaking one language, one word, right? One word. If 
Ephesians 4. I'm um, reading from verse 3. Endeavoring to keep the. I'm reading from verse 1. I therefore, as a prisoner of Yahweh, beseech you that ye walk worthy of, of the vacation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. In the bond of peace, there is one body, not a different body, the unity camp that they are trying for, the unity camps. <laughs> it's one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one, called in one hope in your calling, one Yahweh, one faith, one baptism. Right? It's only one. These different doctrines that come about, I am making up. Okay, let me get this Isaiah 16. Mm. Uh, okay, let me get back to the German guy. <clears throat> Stop out. Okay. Jeremiah fourteen selected. Reading from verse ten. Thus set your heart unto these people. Thus have they loved to wonder. They have not refrained <coughs> their feet. And therefore, Yahweh does not accept them. He will now remember their iniquities and visit their sins. He says in verse 11, Then said Yahweh unto me, Pray not for these people for their good. Pray for these people for their good. Right? Have you been hearing this truth? You've been hearing it sincerely and you keep coming against it. So pray not for these people for their good. Verse 12, when they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer burnt offering and oblations, I will not accept them. So you come about this um this gathering fast, this unity fast uh, for the nation of Israel. So Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, and they hopefully let. That really them's the one that's out for change. Them's the one that's out for discipline. Starting with the elders and pastor of GMS. Hopefully all brothers in, in GMS. Right? I will ac not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by famine and by pestilence. Reading verse 12 again. When they fast, I will not hear their cry. And when they offer board offering and oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by famine 
and by pestilence. You know, I'll take you up know, with these um these makeup. I'm just making up um decrees. In the video I also know the, the the brother that is talking about this um the July twenty fifth fast. He said how you have got a decree, but we making a decree. <laughs> Man. See if I could get in more if the spirit would allow me. Mm. Britain allowed me to get his priest at this time. Can't remember it. But uh But I got this one. Um uh, Jeremiah five read <laughs> read from verse one. Says he run ye to and fro through the cities of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if we can find a man if there be any that executed judgment that seeketh the truth and i will pardon it and though they say yahweh live it surely they swear falsely verse 3 yahweh are not thine eyes upon the truth Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have not. They have made their face harder than a rock. They have refused to return. F verse four. Therefore I said, Surely these are poor. They are foolish, for they know not the way of Yahweh, nor the judgment of their power. Exactly, can you now bash him? You say in this the fasting, the fasting unto you have each man, each man supposed to make a call in an election. Sure, now this custom is it sounds like it sounds like the um, Muslim Ramadan, the Ramadan um celebration. I'll be going fast on the 20th. Come on, man. This is not of Yahweh Bashem Yerushai. Right? And, and, and GMS will not take, take part in this. They ain't talking about the sincere brothers, the elders, and the apostles. Right? This, this is all vain. Your fasting going to be in vain. Why your fasting going to be in vain? Because well, you choose not to, to go by this truth, this 100% truth. You got guys saying, um, and bone Christianity is the mark of the beast. You get a um, Friday, um, uh, into Saturday, sundown is the Sabbath. A, a, a lot of a lot of confusion with this unity camp. Jesus Christ is the name. Now, if you're fasting, right? You fasting is supposed to be with prayer, supplicating prayer, right? How could you all coming together and calling different names and got different hope and got different spirit? That's confusion. It's wickedness. I'll leave it with this. Show sure how the brothers are getting on it. You know. I want to give up. It's the how Basham Yaushai. Basham Kadash. Brothers, keep pushing sincerely. Citation to the elders and the apostles. Hope this video was edifying. You know, until the next time, we say shalom.